One of the most interesting apps that I found to use this year is Measure Kit. This one works really good on the iPad with the LiDAR scanner. There are similar things that you can do on here that you can do on Measure, but with LiDAR, it opens up a completely different area. So there's all these different things that you can have a look at. So ruler, which is similar to measure, and then you can measure magnetic force. And that's really interesting to look around your phone and your laptop and even your TV and see the magnetic force that's happening. And it will start to capture a little wave. Now, I'm not a science teacher, but I'm guessing this could be really good to use in science. Face mesh is probably one of the most interesting features. It utilizes AR and projects a 3D mesh onto your face. So when you hold the iPad up in front of your face, you will see yourself as a 3D mesh projection. And I'm guessing this is probably similar to the underlying structure that's underneath uh, an emoji or Memoji in Clips. You can see that Clips is also using AR and a animated projection onto my face, which I'm able to move around and control. And I've used this as a screen recording during uh, lockdown to create an asynchronous learning bot where instead of a teacher having to be on screen and talk, you can record yourself like this giving instruction. So if I tap on the screen now, what will happen is the black will go away and the mesh will be attached to my own face and I can see it working a little bit differently. So you can see there that's attached onto me and you can see it moving with my eyes and my mouth and as my head turns. And then if I tap back on the screen, it goes back again to black. You can see all the different measurements and movements that you can get data for. So again, this can be quite interesting maybe for medical or science or maths. There's so many different things that you can do. You've also got things like angles, a person's height, cube, level, now the world visualization, that's your LiDAR scanner. So what you'll notice is that the switch is toggled on and I've kind of got a honeycomb mesh happening over the top of my phone there. If I toggle that off, that goes away. And so the LiDAR scanner is turned off. If I turn it on again, you can see LiDAR happens. When you start to move your iPad around, the LiDAR is starting to create a 3D projection of an object or the surrounds. So I'll show you a little video of me testing out the LiDAR scanner outside and trying to create a 3D mesh of my environment. Okay, here is some of me using the LiDAR scanner to test out the environment. So one of the first things I did was try to create a LiDAR scanner of a tree. It took a few times for me to walk around it and every time you walk around it starts to map it out more and more in depth and in detail. Now you have to be about five meters away at the maximum so unfortunately what I found was I could only really scan the trunk and some of the lower branches so you can't really create a scan of an entire tree and walk away with it but it was quite a weird experience and you can see that the tree almost looks like it's popping out of the ground in a 3D projection. The other thing that I tried to do was using the world visualization mode, I just walked along a path and you can see that it's starting to project over the path and the fence and the shrubs and things like that. Now, as you walk along, it will render out as best as it can. The closer you get with a LiDAR scanner, the more detail that it's gonna pick up. But the really weird thing that I noticed was that when I turned around, the iPad kept a scan of where I had just walked, creating or showing that 3D projection with the LiDAR scanner. Here I am testing out the face mesh mode and I tested it on myself and also to create a little bit of a tutorial video for students. Good morning everybody and welcome to our maths lesson on geometrical shapes. Follow me, your remote learning bot, to learn what to do on each of the slides. Tap one of the videos to listen to the instructions. To get the students up and looking for different objects. Mm, I'm not quite sure what to think about this. This is a bit weird. Now this is a different app that uses the LiDAR scanner. It's called LiDAR Scanner 3D. 
and you can see the way that it projects the LiDAR scan onto these chairs is quite different. It uses like a solid kind of scan and it's in like purple and green and pink tones. It almost looks a little bit 80s. And you can swap over the way that it scans and it creates kind of a mesh in a neon green, which is also a little bit strange to see. But I think the whole process of creating a digital scan in front of your eyes can be a little bit strange to start off with. But once you have a go, it's really interesting and fun to see how it works and how the different apps work. The best thing to do with this app is to try it out and see how it works. There's so many different things on here and I think that all teachers are going to have their own spin on how to use this app and how it can be integrated into their curriculum or into their learning area and what they could possibly do with it once they get to know what each of the different tools does.